Dear colleagues, I am very glad for the invitation to participate in this symposium. Let me introduce the author of the work, Tatiana Tkachenko, Dr. Habilitate, Professor of Department of Labor and Environment Protection, Kyiv National University of Construction and Architecture. She has great experience in successful design and construction of green roofs, fighter design of interiors, and microbial studies of indoor air. Many years of observation of different green roofs, including designed and built by the author in 1990, allowed to create a mathematical model of plants growth on green structures in different conditions to develop recommendations for introducing green structures in urban territories for energy efficiency, a decrease of rainwater load, enrichment of herbicinosis, etc. I am Viktor Milikovsky, philosophy doctor, associate professor of heat gas supply and ventilation department in the same university, took part in researches of the greening of buildings, especially thermotechnical. According to World Health Organization, in 1916, 4.2 million of premature deaths are due to indoor air pollution. 90% of people affected by inadequate air quality. Indoor air pollution can be classified to physical, chemical and biological. One of the most harmful pollutants are microorganisms and viruses. No microorganism can live permanently in the air. When sneezing, coughing and saying there are many drops with microorganisms released to the air. Droplets dry up on the surfaces and turn into bacterial dust. Both effects can cause influenza, measles, tuberculosis, whooping, cough, diphtheria, rubella, mumps, COVID-19, allergy, etc. So, investigation and prevention of microbial air pollution are important tasks. One of the options is the natural biologic method of sanitizing interiors, introducing phytoncide plants. The object of research of microbial number in indoor air were premises in high school with 8,000 people. This study of air microflora was performed by sedimentation method by Koch. Petri dishes with sterile nutrient medium should be located in different places on a room and open it for five minutes. At the end of the exposure, the cups should be closed, marked and placed in a thermostat at a temperature of 28-30 degrees for two days. After this time, the number of colonies should be counted. The number of microorganisms in the air should be calculated by Omeliansky. The object of this study of phytoncide activity were the common indoor plants. Discs of 1 cm from the leaves of the studied plants should be cut and chemically sterilized. And continuous sowing of spores of the studied microorganisms should be performed in two petri dishes. After that, the plant discs should be put in one dish. The second dish will be, will be used as the reference one. After completing the seeding procedure, the cups should be kept in a thermostat at 25 degrees for fungi and 30 degrees for bacteria. The effect of plant phytoncides on the studied fungus or bacteria will be indicated by sterile zones without microorganisms. Such zones should be measured. All experiments were repeated three times. It allowed obtaining average values and the probability of the influence of factors. The results of research of total viable numbers show a trustworthy increase in the number of microbes after studies up to exceeding sanitary norms. It's known that in forests the number of microbes is lower because of phytoncides. Green plantation release phytoncides and absorb dust with microbes by foliage. This allows using the most natural method of microbes control sanitizing green design of interiors. Green structures, roofs, walls, terraces are also helpful for suppression of microbes in the air around building. 
The next stage of researches will focus on phytoncide properties of indoor plants. A significant amount of biological contamination was represented in particular by yeast fungi of the genus Saccharomyces. Thus, we use them as a test culture. The greatest inhibition was observed using citrus limon, ficus benjamina, is slightly weaker comparing with lemon. After them, there are azalea, fuchsia, fuchsia, and hibiscus rosa sinensis. The leaves of amaryllis and phoenix dactylifera caused the weakest phytoncide effect. The final tests show that the presence of plants in the room has a bactericidal effect on the air microflora. The study revealed a significant 2.5-3.5 times reduction in the number of microorganisms in the air of the studied premises under the influence of house plants. We recommended citrus limon and ficus benjamina because they grow up to large size and have very high activity. As the second choice, we can use large-sided plant Gibiscus rosa sinensis. For plants of small size, we recommend beautifully flowering plants, azalea and fuchsia. We can conclude that indoor air in educational rooms of high school is strongly polluted by microbes. One of the most natural solutions is using indoor phytoncide plants. We propose use large-sided plants, room lemon, citrus limon, and Ficus benjamina, Ficus benjamina, in combining with small sizes ones, Azalea and Fuchsia, Fuchsia. Experimental research show that they can 2.5, 3.5 times decrease the total viable count. It's not possible to avoid an external air supply, but this can partially compensate for the decrease in air exchange caused by the energy efficiency norms. It's very important during the time of smog or strong traffic jams where the supply of external air is temporarily impossible. Thank you for your attention.